What do you think? This is the last, last video in this series of Halloween makeup tutorials for 2019. It has been so much fun creating these looks for you. Um, so I hope you like this last one. It is Cleopatra inspired. Um, the hair, I actually did a braid this way and then it was too flat so I decided to bend it this way and then I still had some extra hair and I tucked it in, pinned it all in and then I put these beautiful little pins on it, little uh, hair jewels. They're just like little hooks hooked in and I squeeze them on and voila for the hair I straightened it um, you can of course like dye it um, I don't have time for all that and I actually have work in a little bit so um, I pinned it I took two little bobby pins rolled it up and while I was doing the tutorial you'll see I have these pinned like this so that I figured more or less by the time I took them out they'd be like this I had an idea you can leave them in if they're bothersome or cumbersome, remove it and just spray it a little bit while it's in the pin and you'll get like more longevity. I put um, two different earrings on um, and then this one has like a little evil eye and this is the final look. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I already have my foundation on. I, I pinned my hair kind of underneath. I'm actually doing this just so that I can get a nice little curl. Um, but you can actually leave it like this. I decided I wanted to add some jewelry. So I added some beautiful little star hooped earrings. Um, I added a different one here with an evil eye. Um, so I'm going in with my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna do, let's see. I'm gonna go in with the blue eyeshadow just here and it's number, it's just primary number five. I'm gonna take a blending brush and since it's a navy blue, I'm gonna go in super, super light and I'm gonna concentrate the color kind of on the outer corner, having the most pigment on the outer corner. Now I'm gonna go in with a purple just over that. This purple just here. This purple just here. And that is purple number nine. Jaclyn Hill palette has some really beautiful purples and turquoise. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go in with those colors, but first I'm gonna start with this shade here and it's called Creamsicle. And now I'm gonna go in with, just on top of that color, I'm going in with uh, Pookie. It's all about like layering um, because the eyes are gonna be like the most important part. The brush is kind of getting muddled because the color is not really going on as nicely as I'd like for it to. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab another one even though this one's probably dirtier. <laughs> Make sure your brushes are probably cleaner than mine, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and actually, I'm gonna go in, just gonna go in with that blending brush and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this color and I'm gonna lay it kind of right here. Kind of keeping the color on the lid, the majority of the lid for sure. Um, but just up a little bit, a teensy bit, a teensy weensy bit. Doing the same thing on the other side. 
And pretty much the reason I started using the lip palette first is to not only set the eyeshadow look, but also to bring out the color in the eyeshadow. And on a clean side, I'm gonna grab this blue just here, and it's called Twerk. And it's a beautiful blue. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab um, the other blending brush and I'm gonna go back in with that creamsicle shade in the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm gonna blend the two together just this way. bit more and I'm bringing this kind of up to here I'm gonna go in with my finger and grab that turquoise shade and just add a little bit more so that we have a bit of a stronger color but I'm not really going above or sort of out of that general area. Grabbing the other brush, dipping it back into it and just moving it up a little bit. Flipping it over, grabbing that blue, tapping off the excess and layering it on top of that. I'm gonna highlight in the inner corner. Kind of like, I always do like a concoction of colors cause I never really know what I wanna do. And then I'm gonna tap, like mix it with my finger. off my brush and I'm going to go in with the same sort of shades the darker one on the outer corner just creating like a straight line we'll fix all that up too um, when we're doing the concealer so I'm grabbing a little bit of the concealer on the back of my hand, blending it out, and I definitely want it to be more dramatic. So it's good that the eyes are, you know, super dramatic. You could do this with so many different colors too, like you could do it with golds, but I just figured golds and browns or gold and black was gonna be too obvious for this look. Um, so I wanted to do something a little bit different for sure. Um, but now I'm just bringing the concealer onto my forehead, kind of where you need, where you would get natural light, I guess. Okay. Kind of like here, here, and here. So now I'm gonna put a little bit more on the back of my hand, tapping off the excess, and putting it on my chin. Okay. We're gonna leave that on for a second. I'm gonna grab my brow palette and go ahead and do my brows.
color, grabbing it onto a brush like this. set it. I'm going to grab that brush that I used to sort of get in the middle, um, blend it out. I'm grabbing creamsicle again and I'm going to set with it, sort of, kind of. Just adding more of that creamsicle. grab some highlighter just to soften it up a little bit I think with the glow it kind of puts everything together and that's actually what I'm gonna do right now so I'm gonna go in let me just see what color I'm gonna go in with the color just next to this green it's called pool party um, I'm going to go in and just sort of smooth it out a little bit over the lid, but I'm not going into that purple. Grabbing my other blending brush and using it as like a flat brush without sort of blending it out because you don't want to blend this out too much. Just like that, just enough, you know? Tapping off the excess. And now I'm gonna grab that purple just here, and it's called twerk. Opposite side of the brush, grabbing that twerk, tapping it off, same thing. Grabbing that brush that I used to blend with and blending out the edges ever so gently. Like really and truly you have to be super careful because when you have two dominant colors and um, you're blending vigorously, they can sort of cross each other and then they can muddle and that's not pretty. So always just go very gently over. And look how soft that looks. So, so far this is what the eyes kind of look like. I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and blend out the concealer if it wants to even blend out at this point because I totally forgot about it. <laughs> now I'm gonna just set a little bit. Grabbing my Prep and Prime from MAC. Tapping the excess. Whoosh Beauty. It's like the worst packaging to show you because I think it just reflects the light. So you're just like, oh my God, thanks for blinding me. Um, but they have this bronzing shade just here. I grab that kind of on the edge of the brush, tap off the excess, and I like get it here. And like that's where I apply it. And now I'm applying it a little bit lower than I would normally, but I'm kind of digging it. And I fan it up. You always want to sort of fan it up for my forehead. Um, so now I'm gonna grab that blending shade. It's called, it's literally called blenders. So you, I actually just mix them, right? And this softens it up. I really love this palette. I wish more brands made it. A friend actually gave it to me and I was like, I don't know how to use this. And I started playing around with it and I'm in love with it. So this softens it up. Going with the blushes and again, I play around with both. Um, I want more of a pinky tone. 
Hey you guys, so this is where we're at so far. I'm actually gonna go and the little, um, she has like a little thing here. Um, I'm gonna do that off camera with my liner. I'm using the only one that I have at the moment. <laughs> and, um, it's called NYX, um, hella fine, but it's like the fine tip liner. This one works. It's not really my favorite just because it's so tiny, but I think it's gonna do really, really well with the liner here and helping me to create that like little emblem that she has here. Um, I'm gonna do that off camera, put my lashes on, and then I'll be right back to do my lips and finish up this tutorial. I know that I said that I would just do my lashes and my liner, but this is pretty much the final look. I have to skedaddle, so real quick, what I put on my lips are, I lined them with Milani's um, number four, it's called All Natural Lip Liner. Then I went in on the actual lips with um, L'Oreal 370, it's the Jennifer's Nudes. They did a collaboration, it was like four powerful women. Jennifer's uh, lip really attracted me in terms of like creaminess and the color, which is what you see here. And then just on top of that, I'm really digging the Fenty, um, Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow in this shade here. Um, and I put that on my lips. I actually undid my little hair curls and they stayed. So I'm kind of digging it. You could do something like this um, and then sort of spray them and your hair could stay kind of like this. See, and my hair is like pretty long too, so. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope this helps and until next Halloween. <laughs> Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and on that note, um, don't forget also hit the notification bell if you want to see some more videos, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.